Hey guys, this is Ray from the Great Falls Public Library and this is story time. It's for preschoolers two and a half to five. So pause the video, go grab your littles. And if you have them, grab a couple of wooden spoons. We'll be using these as rhythm sticks today. But if you don't have them, you can just clap along. So you ready? Let's get started. Let's wave hello to all our friends. Here we go. Everybody wave hello, wave hello wave hello everybody wave hello let's have some fun everybody clap your hands clap your hands clap your hands everybody clap your hands let's have some fun all right now we're gonna stomp our feet here we go everybody stomp your feet stomp your feet stomp your feet everybody stomp your feet let's have some fun. Good job, let's wiggle our ears. Everybody wiggle your ears, wiggle your ears, wiggle your ears. Everybody wiggle your ears, let's have some fun. Good job. Everybody wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello, now our song is done. Awesome. I am so glad you could join us. You want to grab your spoons. We're going to tap these together for rhythm sticks, but we can also just clap our hands. And we are going to do a counting song to the tune of the wheels on the bus. And we'll sing it a couple of times. And then um, I'm sure the tune's familiar. Here we go. It goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. All right. So now that you know the tune, let's sing it together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, ten. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. All right. So today we are going to read a dog story. You have a dog at home. Do you think that your dog might like to go to wolf camp to learn how to be a wolf? That's what our book is about. It's about a dog named Homer going to camp to learn all about being a wolf. So I thought we could sing a couple of dog songs. Of course, the classic is bingo. Do you know that song? So how do we spell bingo? Do you know? B-I-N-G-O spells bingo. So we're going to sing it all the way through, and then we're gonna start taking away letters in Bingo's name and replacing them with a tap. Or we can clap our hands. Here we go. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, good job, guys. All right, now we are going to take away the letter B and we're gonna replace our letter B with a tap or a clap. So we're just saying letter B in our head, but not out loud. Here we go. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, I-N-G-O, I-N-G-O, I-N-G-O and bingo was his name. Oh, good job guys. All right, this time we're going to take away the B. And what, what comes next? The I. All right, here we go. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, N-G-O, N-G-O, N-G-O and bingo was his name. Oh, good job, guys. All right, now we're going to take away the first three letters. B, I, and? N. Here we go. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, G-O, G-O, 
Theo and Bingo was his name. Oh, good job. All right. Now we're going to take away all of the letters except the O at the end. So we're going to take away the B, the I, the N, and the G. And only the O will say out loud. The rest we're just going to say it in our heads. Here we go. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, and bingo was his name. Oh, good job, guys. All right, now we're going to take away all the letters. What are the letters of bingo's name again? E, I, N, G, and what's the last letter? O. And we're just going to say all of the letters inside our head, but not out loud. Here we go. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, And bingo was his name. Oh, good job, guys. So when we change the rules, like we were spelling bingo's full name out loud, and then we started taking away letters, when we change the rules, and our brain has to adapt, that's called cognitive flexibility. So this is just a, um, it's a really familiar song that most people know, but it's actually building great, um, great cognitive skills for our little folks. All right, let's sing My Dog Rags. I love this song. All right, so My Dog Rags has floppy ears. Can you show me your dog rags floppy ears? Flop, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop. Do you have a dog? Do you have a dog that has ears that go flip, flop? Or do you have a dog who has ears that point straight up? Or maybe you have a dog that has one ear up and one ear that goes flip flop. Chester does that. Can you guys see the videos with Chester? He helped out with a, with a bunch of videos when I was filming at home. All right, so, um, so Rag's ears go flip flop and then what does his tail do? Is his tail really, really still? Of course not, his tail wags. So we're gonna wag our whole body. Good job. All right, and he walks zigzag. So can you put your hands together like this? And we're gonna go zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. All right, here we go. I have a dog and his name is Rags. He eats so much that his tummy sags. His ears flip flop and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, he walks zigzag. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. I love Rags and he loves me. Good job, guys. So do you want to sing it one more time? Let's do that. Here we go. I have a dog and his name is Rags. He eats so much that his tummy sags. His ears flip flop and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, he walks zigzag. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. He goes flip flop, wig wag, zigzag. I love Rags and he loves me. Good job, guys. All right, let's read this book. It is so much fun. Wolf Camp by Andrea Zool. So this is Homer and Homer is a dog. And this is Fang, what is Fang? Fang is a wolf and Fang is a camp counselor at Wolf Camp, teaching dogs like Homer how to be a wolf. This is by Andrea Zool and it was published by Schwartz and Wade Books. Let's read it. My name is Homer. I am a dog. But sometimes I am very wolfish. Now I've got you, Mr. Moose, and what's he doing? Pounce on Mr. Moose. All dogs have a bit of wolf in them. It has been proven by science. This may not have actually happened. Often I wonder what it would be like to live as a real wolf. 
Then I, one day I got a surprise, wolf camp. Have you ever felt like howling at the moon? Oh my goodness, we didn't practice howling. You wanna howl with me? Here we go. Ah! There's a lot of howling in this book. I hope you'll help me. Have you ever felt like howling at the moon? Come join us, wolf camp, where every dog can live as a wolf for an entire week. For more information, call 1-800-WOLF-CAMP. I had to go. Oh, he's excited. He's excited. And after a while, look, he's begging. He's begging to go to wolf camp. My people thought I should go too. Okay, you can go. Goodbye, we love you. There's his little girl waving goodbye. The day finally arrived, I was off. I am going to be a wolf. How's, how is Homer getting to wolf camp? On a big yellow school bus. I was greeted by Fang and Grr, our counselors. They seem nice. And then I got to know my fellow campers. So there is Homer. This big fluffy yellow dog is Rex and this tiny gray dog is Pixie. Fang gave us an important safety talk. If you need to leave the pack, take a wolf with you. Also, there are bigger things here than there are back home. Do not chase. I repeat, do not chase them. Here is a list of other dangerous things in the wild that can hurt you or at least give you a rash. Stay away from grizzly bears, black bears, wolves that you don't know, wolverines, badgers, skunks, Weasels, raccoons, rattlesnakes, cacti, poison ivy, possums, and finally, never trust a squirrel. Oh my. That is a lot of safety instructions. I think they're looking a little nervous, don't you? At last, we were ready to be real, real wolves. We marked and howled ow, and tracked. Look, what's Rex saying? Look, a bunny. So if you're tracking a bunny, so you're trying to hunt the bunny, should you say, look, there's a bunny. No, you wanna be very quiet and sneak up on the bunny. The big moment was here. It was time to hunt. Hey guys, wait up. Look, there's Fang and Gurr. They're gonna go get it. Yikes, we're gonna eat that? Dinner tasted unusual. It's got hair on it. Hmm, what an interesting flavor. Before bed, I wrote a letter home. Dear people, how are you? I am fine. The food here is yucky and it has hair on it. Please send me some of Grandma Polly's pampered pooch doggy snacks, the bacon flavored ones. Also send my flea medicine because there are lots of bugs here and they are gross. Love, Homer. And look, what's this? Yes, it's a smashed bug in the letter. Ew, gross. When it got dark, we found out how real wolves sleep. How do real wolves sleep? Do they sleep in doggy beds? They sleep outside on the ground. So over here's Fang and Fang is saying, ow! But our dog friends are huddled in a pile. And I think, do you see how big their eyes are? I think they might be a little scared of the dark. And what's this? What animal is this? Yes, that's right, it's an owl. And what do owls say? <coughs> Fortunately, with each day, we adjusted to life in the wild. Look at them, they're all howling. Ow! And we gained confidence. Do you see Pixie? 
There's Pixie. And she says, let me go, I can take him. What can she take? What is that with the big antlers? A moose. Do you think that Pixie can hunt the moose? I don't think that's going to work because the moose is so big and Pixie is so little. By the end of camp, we were practically wolves. See, they have their certificates that say honorary wolf. And now it was time to, and now that it was time to leave, I was feeling a little sad, but I don't think anyone noticed. Do you think anyone noticed that Homer was sad? I think they might have noticed he was sad because he's crying. We howled one last time as a pack. Ow! And there is Rex and Pixie and Homer all back on the big yellow school bus to go back home. It was good to be home. Look, Homer missed his little girl. But I had changed. I was no longer plain old Homer. See, there's Homer back in his bed. I was an honorary wolf. And Homer, there's Homer. What does he say? Ow! Oh my goodness. The neighbors are so scared. What was that? I could have sworn I heard a wolf. And that is the end. So, I have a question for you. Do you think that you would like to go to wolf camp? Having read the book, we know what happens at wolf camp, right? So there's hunting and there's food with hair on it and there is sleeping on the ground and lots of howling. So does that sound like fun? Would you like to do it or would you not like to do it? What are some reasons you would like to go to wolf camp and what are some reasons you don't want to go to wolf camp? Okay. I hope that you enjoyed that story. I will um, get another video posted for you next week. Take care everybody and we will see you in the library. Bye bye.